Well, it's Friday the 14th, and last night, uh, all up and down the east coast, a pretty bad storm came through. Talked to a neighbor, he said, at least two inches, maybe three. I had these two trays sitting up on top of this camper, and they were right here on the end, and these are the marigolds that I was going to plant in my garden. Uh, it's a good way to... Uh, control some of the insects because they don't like the smell of marigolds and there's some spare pepper plants and they're all laying on the ground I don't want to make this too long my tomatoes don't look the worse for wear except for this one for some reason it fell over if it didn't break it off which it doesn't look like it because it's still it hasn't wilted I can pick that up easily and drive it back in the ground these beans are starting to be able to see them from a distance. And this plant was drooping the other day. So unless this extra two inches of rain doesn't kill it, I'll be all right. These tomatoes have been in the ground, some of them I think three weeks and some of them two weeks. The stems are really healthy looking and they definitely need to be tied up which is something I'm going to do today. I was afraid that uh, some of them were getting a little high and needed to be tied up that the uh, storm could break them off. I don't see any. And this Rutgers here that was wilted bad after the heavy rains from Andrea uh, has perked up. You got to give plants a chance. They will uh, surprise you. The cucumbers look good. All these beans are up. The okra's up, the squash is up. Look at all the weed seeds in that bed that hasn't been uh, plowed lately. That's a volunteer squash that came up and we generally leave it. I will take a trail and pick it up and move it somewhere else to get it out the row. And this, of course, is where we're gonna plant our watermelons and up here some butternut squash. But it's got to dry out before I can do that. I don't need the peppers in case somebody comes by and says, hey, you got a couple extra peppers, I'll give them all of them. I don't care. I don't need these tomatoes. I got more than this at home that look a lot better than these. I do want these marigolds to make it. But as you can tell, they're a little worse for wear. This one really bent over, broken over, that's broken over. We'll see what Mother Nature does. But I need a few of these to go in my garden to attract the bees and insects. They see the flowers and go, hey, there's flowers. Let's go down and check them out. And while they're there, they see my tomato and cucumber and squash flowers, watermelons, cantaloupes, peppers, trying to attract them into the garden.